the gold medal at 92. Here is Pore of Iran, 20 years old. Dagba Dorch, Mongolia, 23. And immediately the crowd with all that built up energy throughout the course of the day. This is the six minute stretch that they've been waiting for so patiently. Gates opened up. Two o'clock local time. They were here four hours early just sitting, having some fun with family and friends, waiting for this moment. And now Dagba Chork trying to deliver. Close to giving up the step out. On his tippy toes. Look for the throw. Well, they call that a slip. They will say slip. Step out point. Now the judge is going to go to. Matt Chairman goes to. So no slip there. And there's a blood timeout. Dag Vadorch is going to have to go get cleaned up. So that's where the three-person officiating crew comes in. Close call on the edge. Mongolia tried to hit the little shoulder throw there. Referee thought that he was the aggressor, so he was only going to go one on the step out. That's when the judge and the match chairman came in with two. This young Iranian Last year was a U23 bronze medalist in Serbia. He also won a junior world championship a year ago, a cadet world championship back in 2019. So this guy just keeps getting better and better, rising up through the ranks, and now a chance to win his first senior championship, the youngest guy on the team that Iran has brought. Talked about it yesterday. It's a blended team of experience and youth. Dagbadoch. See what he wants to do out of this position. Don't think he's going to be able to do much. Won't be able to scoot either way because the Iranian keeping his legs at bay. They go back up to the feet. <laughs> Almost kind of looks like a Greco-Roman match here with all the pummeling. Shoulders and hands, forearms, everything getting involved. Now the two trench down into the center. Arm spin attempt, nothing there. Did a full 360 and just couldn't lock it up. Keep an eye on that. That's twice now that Dagvor George has tried to hit it. Stutters a little bit. Here is Pori, not able to take advantage. Two minutes into this opening period. Right arm underhook now by Fierce Pori. Driving the Mongolian back near the edge. Swings over to the right, captures the leg, and they hop skip out of bounds. Another step out. And Iran slowly pulling away a little bit. Second time the blood has started. For the young Mongolian star, and we'll take a timeout. Just 44 seconds remaining, period of one. Orgida Dagba Dorge has been left bloodied by this superstar 20 year old for Iran. I mean, you take a look at the resume for Amir Hosseini. Cadet World, Junior World, U23 Bronze last year. I mean, there is not much that he has not accomplished yet throughout the younger levels, so the future certainly so bright moving forward. It appears that future might be now at this weight class for Iran. Snapped down by Dag Vodorch. The thing about Fear Kaspore, he's, he's, he's very comfortable here, as we've seen multiple times. Now trying to spin back, trying to take ground is Dag Vodorch, but he can't do it. Again, that map presence by Fear is Porridge. He doesn't panic when he gets out there. It's like he's comfortable in that area. 
and that's where he's winning this first period. Driving him backwards again, and another point. Man, the Mongolian has no answer right now. Just giving up way, way too much ground. And a solid opening three minutes. No jitters in his first senior continental championship for Amir Hossein Afiras Pori. Taking care of business in a hostile environment here in Uma Bantar. Three step outs in the opening three minutes and a 5 nothing lead. This crowd wants to go nuts. They want to explode, but Dagvadorj has been unable to deliver so far. But as we've seen tonight, second periods have been a little crazy. First thing he needs to do is, is quit giving up so much ground. That's going to be the top adjustment he makes. Comes right over the top of the low leg attack. Dust settles. No change. Now nose to nose. Those two look each other square in the eye. A little more pop in the step from Fierce Pore. Dancing around a little bit more. Almost looks confident, doesn't he? Blowing the tire was Fierce Pore. Dagba Dorge a little late to jump on him. Has the head buried, but again, he has been here so many times tonight, and he just can't go anywhere with it. See those long right forearm and left forearm right over the calves, grabbing the quad? That's what's preventing him from getting any type of turn. Duck under from Devorj, countered beautifully by the Iranian, and he goes up 7-0. And now he's thinking maybe a lace. And he has it. He thrust him over for two. He's a turn away from winning Iran's fifth gold medal. Can't get the turn this time. They go back to the feet. Dagba Dorge, both hands on his knees. In danger of losing this gold medal match. Just waiting for the shot, and that is going to be it. The flex of a muscle. And you talk about imposing their will on the rest of the continent. Iran is doing that in day two. The runner up after the opening 24 hours, but they have put that in the rear view mirror tonight. And their 